Hey guys, this is Zain Ali and I am back with a new tutorial. This tutorial we will be discussing one of the problem regarding the space thrust. So guys, before that, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification about the newly uploaded videos. So guys, I have mentioned the problem statement in the description box. We have been asked to determine the force in this member EA. So for solving the problem of the space thrust, we will be utilizing the tension coefficient method, which we have discussed earlier. So we'll be simply solving the problem but before that we need to assign the coordinates to each and every point. It has been given that we need to consider D as origin so with respect to D we need to assign the coordinates of the other point. So D is given as origin. So the coordinates of the D will be 0 0 0. The coordinates of the E will be given as X is 3 meter y is 0 and z is also 0 so 3 0 0 similarly the coordinates of a can be given as x is minus 1.5 y is 2 and z is minus 3 so minus 1.5 2 and minus 3 the coordinate of the b can be given as 4.5 2 and minus 3. Similarly, the coordinate of this C can be given as 1.5 minus 2 and minus 3. So C 1.5 minus 2 and minus 3. Okay. So we have assigned the coordinates to each and every points. The force in the member can be given as a product of the tension in that member and the length of that member. So we need to determine the force in the member EA. So it can be given as the force in the member EA is equals to tension in the member EA into length of the member EA. If the value of TEA comes out to be positive then the force nature inside the member EA would be of tensile nature and if it comes out to be negative then the nature of the force would be compressive. Now the length of the EA can be given as under root of x e minus x a whole square plus y e minus y a whole square plus z e minus z a whole square okay putting the value of x c x a y e y a z e z a we will be getting the length of the member e a as 5.76 meter okay we need to determine the value of t e a to determine the force in the member e a so for Determining TA, we were considering this joint D to be in equilibrium first. So consider joint D to be in equilibrium. Okay. So sigma fx equals to zero. Uh, we are applying the condition of equilibrium that sigma fx equals to zero, and the force in any member is given as a product of TEA and LEA. So similarly for uh, joint D, if we are considering this member DE, then it would be given as TDE into X component that is XE minus XD plus TDA into XA minus XD plus TDC into XC minus XD. Okay. And there is an 80 kN force along the positive x direction, so plus 80 that is equals to 0. Okay, now we will be pressing the value of xc, xd, all the values which are known. So, on putting those values, we will be getting the equation as 3TDE minus 1.5TDA plus 1.5TDC that is equals to minus 80. So take it as equation number 1. Similarly now applying another equilibrium condition that is sigma fi equals to 0. Instead of xc and xd now it will be y and yd. We need to consider the y component. So tde into ye minus yd plus tda into ya minus yd plus tdc into yc minus yd and there is a 60 kN force in the negative y direction so minus 60 that is equals to 0. Okay, now placing this value, we will be getting an equation like a TDA 2TDA 
माइनस टू टी डी सी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी टेक इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ अपलाइंग अनदर इक्वेलेबलम कंडीशन दैट इज सिग्मा एफ जेड इक्वल्स टू जीरो इन सेट ऑफ वाई वाई डी नाउ इट टू बी जेड ई एंड जेड ई जेड कंपोनेंट सो टी डी ई इंटू जेड ई माइनस जेड ई डी प्लस टी डी ए इंटू जेड ए माइनस जेड डी प्लस टी डी सी इंटू जेड सी माइनस जेड डी एंड देर इज नो फोर्स एक्टिंग एट अ जॉइंट डी इन द जेड डायरेक्शन सो दैट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड नाउ वी आर प्लेसिंग दिस वैल्यू वी वर बी गेटिंग माइनस थ्री टी डी ए माइनस थ्री टी डी सी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वी हैव गॉट द थ्री इक्वेशन एंड थ्री एन नोन सो वी कैन सॉल्व बट वी ओनली रिक्वायर द वैल्यू ऑफ टी डी ई एज वी आर कंसिडर एज वी वी बी गोइंग टू कंसिडर दिस जॉइंट ई टू बी इन इक्वेलेबरियम सो वी नीड टू डिटर्माइन द वैल्यू ऑफ टी डी ई ओनली सो सॉल्विंग दिस थ्री इक्वेशन वी वुड बी गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ टी डी ए एज फिफ्टीन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर द वैल्यू ऑफ टी डी सी एज माइनस फिफ्टीन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टी डी ई एज माइनस एलेवन पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर ओके सो वी हैव अपटेन द वैल्यू ऑफ टी डी एज माइनस एलेवन पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर विच वी आर विच वी रिक्वायर फॉर डिटर्माइनिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ फोर्स इन द मेम्बर ई एम सो नाउ वी आर कंसिडरिंग द जॉइंट ई टू बी इन इक्वेलेबरियम सो लेट इज राइट अगेन कंसिडर जॉइंट ई टू बी इन इक्वेलेबरियम and applying the same equilibrium conditions that is sigma fx equals to 0 so for joint t sigma fx equals to 0 that is t de into x d minus x e plus t e a into x a minus x e plus t e b into x b minus x e plus t e c into x c minus x e and uh, there is no force at a joint d joint e in the x direction so that is equals to 0 so take putting the values of x d x e x a x e x b x c and t d e as minus 11.67 kN per meter we were getting the equation as minus 4.5 t e a माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टी ई सी प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टी ई बी दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी फाइव टेक इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर फोर नाउ अपलाइंग अनदर इक्वेलिब्रियम कंडीशन दैट इज सिग्मा एफ वाई इक्वल टू जीरो सो टी डी ई इंटू वाई डी माइनस वाई ई प्लस टी ई ए इंटू वाई ए माइनस वाई ई प्लस टी ई बी इंटू वाई बी माइनस वाई ई plus t e c into y c minus y e and there is a force of 30 kN along positive y direction so plus 30 that is equals to 0 and placing this value we will be getting another equation as 2 t e a minus 2 t e c plus 2 t e b that is equals to minus 30 so take it as equation number 5 similarly we will be applying another equilibrium condition that is sigma fz equals to 0 so t d e into z d minus z e plus t e a into z a minus z e plus t e b into z b minus z e plus t e c into z c minus z e And there is a force of fifty kilonewton along negative z direction, so minus fifty that is equals to zero. Placing this value, we will be getting another equation as minus three t e a minus three t e c minus three t e b that is equals to fifty. So take it as equation number six. Now, in solving this equation four, five, and six with the help of the determinants, we will be getting the value of t e a as 2.08 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so we have obtained the value of T as 2.08 kilonewton per meter. Placing this value in this equation, we will be getting the force in the member E A 
as length of the member EA into tension in the member EA that is equals to 5.76 into 2.08 that is equals to 11.98 kN ok so force in the member EA is 11.98 kN and since the value of TEA is positive the nature of the force inside the member EA would be of tensile so T which denotes that the nature of the force is tensile so guys that's all from my side if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section and thank you guys for watching this video